Hey guys, today we're going to be taking a look at a lot of new PC mods. All of the mods are public and the links can be found on my website link down below. Up first, we'll be taking a look here at Old Classic Hot Rod. It is a pretty cool vehicle. It is color changeable. The rims are as well as a few different things on it. But as we do a full walk around, you guys can see this is pretty sweet here. Definitely a really nice looking vehicle. It is a pretty wide one. As you guys can see, we do have a few lights here in the back. I really do like the old tires on it. Definitely a pretty cool style. And uh, you guys can see the engine definitely looks pretty cool here. The exhaust coming out the side. That's definitely going to be a pretty loud ride here. And the small windshield as well it looks pretty sweet. But once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 101 miles per hour. Let's get the old hot rod fired on up. You guys can see there we have it. The engine's vibrating. That's a pretty cool effect there. We'll take a quick look at the lights. Uh, you guys can see, look at that. That is just so cool here. Really quickly in the back, you guys can see we do have hazard lights there. Let's take a look at the first person view. Oh yeah, look at that engine just vibrating there. Really do like this. The gauges seem to be working. Pretty cool vehicle. I really do like it. Now there do seem to be a few moving parts here on it. And look at that. You can actually open up these doors here. That is a pretty Pretty cool feature, really do like it. And you guys can see this is a manual. Overall though, it is a pretty cool hot rod. Probably one of the coolest we do have here in Farm Sim. Now if you guys do want to see more mod reviews, please hit the like button. Let me know down below what mods you guys would like me to feature next. Here we have a Rolls Royce, which is a coupe. Here it is, color change, well, two-tone, a few different wheel options on it, and it does have a soft top that is retracted, pretty much a convertible. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed is 77 miles per hour. There are a few Rolls Royce in the game, and this is pretty cool here. Working trunk here on it, let's just do a full walk around. This thing is pretty uh, cool here. One thing, guys, these are some pretty big Rolls Royce wheels. Not much clearance there uh, between the wheels and the fenders, but on the first row, some of you wow almost like you're sitting in a real life uh, Rolls Royce this thing is so cool here it's nice to see all the detail in all these different PC mods here we have a Range Rover SUV. You guys can see it is pretty sporty. It is color changeable with a few different options in the store. And it does have a bumper pull hitch uh, dual exhaust here in the back, which is neat. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 136 miles per hour. All of the lights do work here on it, which is pretty cool. When you press N, the front two windows come down there and the trunk opens up there in the back. That is a pretty neat feature. Now on the first person, you guys can see digital speedometer. This this thing though is pretty cool here. Once again, it, it does have really, really nice detail. Up next, we're going to be taking a look here at a Dodge Charger. This is actually a police car here in the store. It can be found under the cars category. Starting price at $89,000. It is color changeable here with a few different paint schemes on it, which is pretty neat here. Really do like it. I actually really do like the paint job one. You do have a few different decals there. You could get a push bar up front. You could get uh, just the semi wrap. You could get a light bar, a really cool light bar, kind of low profile, and you could get a semi Separate light bar there, which is pretty cool. As we keep going down, you could get reflectors here for the trunk if you would like, which is pretty neat here. You could get extra strobes, uh, which is also neat. And uh, finally, a few different wheel options and some added equipment in the, the cab. As we do a closer walk around, you guys can see a lot of lights all the way around. I really do like it. Once we hop here on the inside, top speed of 186 miles per hour here. Let's take a quick look at all the uh, regular lights on the car. You guys can see really do like it. But let's get those strobe lights going. Look at all those lights, guys. That's so cool. I really do like it. Now, it does have a few different things on it. Working doors. Uh, that is another really cool feature. If you guys would like to do a little bit of role play there, that is pretty cool. Now, on the first person view it is pretty detailed look at that pretty standard uh, for a uh, uh, kind of a police car here but definitely pretty cool definitely good for role play and just to kind of have around on the different maps up next guys we have a Nissan Titan XD this is a regular cab long bed a work truck let's take a quick look at it here in the store you guys can see $40,000 it's a 2018 and it does have quite a few colors here on it you do have the trim uh, level S and then you do have S with the tow mirrors which is neat and then you do have SV as well and then SV with the tow mirrors uh, the main difference is the tow mirrors and the chrome there on it a few different accessories you have steps you have the a few different back 
backs, uh, headache rack, things like that. You do have a stroll bar and you do have uh, the gooseneck, uh, bumper pole, and a plow hitch as well. Now it is pretty awesome that we could get one of these here in Farm Sim. Now this does have a Cummins engine on it, which is pretty neat. And I will say guys, the body style on this thing does look pretty cool. Here we do have a working tailgate here. Really do like all the lights on it. Really quickly, we're, we're gonna take a close look at that. We do have a strobe light up top there. And on the first person view, take a look at that guys. Working gauges, I mean, this thing is really detailed here. Wow, this thing looks awesome. Really do like the dash. And I'm so excited to have a Nissan on here where we'll put it to work maybe maybe you guys might see this on a farm or maybe with a different series but i can't wait uh, to put it to work and see how it does up next guys we're going to be taking a look here at some equipment up first we do this mini machine here for moving material which is pretty neat here it does hold a percentage which is uh, pretty cool we do one beacon light up top there and you can actually uh, kind of add some chain in if you do need to kind of raise and lower it there with a crane we do have a first person view and it is also mouse control you could actually rotate this around it uh, to the different sides to kind of empty it on out that is a pretty neat feature you guys can see one hydraulic I do remember this all the way back in uh, 17 as well so it's pretty cool uh, to see it here but this thing will come in pretty handy I can't wait to try it out in some upcoming construction videos here we have a small compact reel loader. You guys can see it. It's the Kramer 512 SLX. I will say, guys, I really do like the size of this. It's probably going to be perfect uh, for some uh, pretty cool uh, kind of small jobs, things like that. Here we do have a full working uh, arm on the front end of this. We'll take a look at the first person view. Let's see, no working mirrors. We do have a working steering wheel. Pretty kind of old uh, interior. Uh, not as kind of uh, the latest, greatest technology, but it's a pretty cool kind of work vehicle. Cool. Up next, you guys, can see we do have a pretty big machine here. It is a Manitou. It does have quite a few different attachments, and you could pretty much use this thing as a crane here, which I am excited for since we do need one of these here in farms. And But really quick, let's get those stabilizers folded on out there. Let's take a look at this thing, guys. It does have full lights, and this does fully extend on out there, which is neat on the first-person view. It is pretty detailed as well, and I will say, guys, we'll be putting this to work soon. Up next, guys, we're going to be taking a look here at a wheelbarrow and a few different attachments in the store. They can be found here under the tools. You guys can see the LSM uh, farm equipment pack. You do have a wheelbarrow, you have a transport trolley, and you do have a small barrel and a repair trolley as well, which is pretty neat. But uh, let's first take a look here at the wheelbarrow. So this thing does fully work here, and this thing looks so cool here. So you guys can see it does unload, which is neat as well, and if you do press uh, control Y, it will actually kind of load materials into it, which is a pretty neat thing. And over here, we do have a little kind of trolley cart. This little cart, guys, will come in pretty handy for doing things around the house here, and I will say that is pretty neat here. Last up for vehicles is a crop duster. This is color changeable here. It does fully function, and it does fly, which is a pretty neat mod. I can't wait to put this to work on a farm, but you guys can see, just look at it. It's so cool we can have mods like that here in Farm Sim. Last up, guys, we're going to be taking a look here at quite a few placeable mods here. First, we do have a modern house. Pretty neat. Now, you cannot go on the inside here. Just kind of four looks, but I will say, guys, that does look pretty sweet here. Up next, we do have a few modern fences, a few different versions with a, uh, different brick patterns there. We do actually have a house that you could demolish here, which is a pretty neat thing. And we do have one or two more, uh, more buildings here. Really do like this one here. A full inside, a little bit of storage there and uh, we do have a small sliding door here and last up we do have one big garage out back and this thing is a pretty big one as well i really do like showcasing so many different types of mods uh placeables and different things like that but you guys can see pretty big and it is just kind of a standard uh, mod here but hope you guys enjoyed today's mod review taking a look at some pretty nice mods but thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more